Fresh off the success of the Olympic Games, the city entered the international spotlight and the Dome started hosting a variety of high-profile events. Fortunately, we were able to land early in our development a Super Bowl. We were able to land an Olympics, which became kind of uh, the benchmarks around which we judged uh, our other activities. Uh, and, and also we had a number of annual clients that came in every year. The Atlanta Football Classic, for example, committed before we opened up and uh, has had a tremendous run in the building. Thanks for 12 great years and hope we have very many more. The Olympics was, of course, you know, a pinnacle event. But then right afterwards, we, you know, two weeks later, we got a football game. The football season starts. So we convert and get ready for football, which is what we do. In 1992, the Atlanta Falcons moved from the Fulton County Stadium to the Georgia Dome. The Dome was host to Super Bowl 28 in 1994 and Super Bowl 34 in the year 2000. The Dome has hosted numerous sporting events outside of football, including the 2002 and 2007 NCAA Men's Final Four, and in 2003, the NCAA Women's Final Four. The Georgia Dome is not only known for being a sports venue, it has hosted events such as concerts and graduations, and holds the memories of attendees from all around the world. Stadiums held very few events outside of large NFL sporting events or other large sporting events. They didn't do the multi-purpose work that the Georgia Dome has become synonymous for. I think one of the unique things that uh, the Georgia Dome helped put, uh, put on the map was not only the, the ability to host uh, major events, the uh, Super Bowl, the Olympics, but really is the unique multi-purpose nature of the events that we can host and the, the ability to generate back-to-back-to-back uh, -to -back -to -back events uh, day after day as we can host a corporate function on the field uh, and then we can have a sold-out event uh, the same week and I think that's just the multi-purpose nature that it was created in and, uh, and so I think that sets us apart with, from other facilities. So we'd like to present to Mr. Atkins at this time a custom-made Thor helmet memorializing 66,162 Monster Jam fans, the largest single-day Monster Jam in the history of Clear Channel Entertainment right here in Atlanta at the Georgia Dome. Our motocross, our supercross, we had concerts, and we also had numerous, numerous small events that didn't always make the headlines, but we thought were just as important as the big headline grabbers. One of my favorite memories at the Georgia Dome has to be WrestleMania. I remember standing outside the production booth, uh, watching the intros, and just thinking to myself, there couldn't be a bigger spectacle of an event. The top one for me is the 75th anniversary of the Final Four that was played in the Georgia Dome in 2013. You know, the, the crowd, the activity surrounding it, that event really, I think, drove home to me the value of what sports can do for a community. Uh, my most memorable event in the Georgia Dome was the opening celebration where Natalie Cole was the entertainer and she had a film of her father in the back and they sang Unforgettable together. Unforgettable. That's what you are. Unforgettable. The near or far. Like a song of love that clings to me. How the thought of you does things to me. We said we were going to include everybody to try to bring in everybody, and we've tried our best to bring in all types of events to include everyone within the community. 